Welcome to another episode of Summertime Saga. So I don't know what's going to happen in today's episode. We're going to go talk to Mia and just go from there. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, hello? Ah, oh, no one's home. Maybe she's upstairs. Okay. Huh? Huh? I hear voices coming from Helen's bedroom. Mia must be in there with her mom. Okay, we're going to... What the fuck? Uh... Helen? Is that a police baton? Oh my god. Oh, she's thinking of Harold. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good for the relationship, I think. Oh shit, she saw me. Oh fuck. I, I, I'm so sorry, Helen. I, I, I didn't mean to see. I'm sorry you had to see me like this. No, I didn't see much anyway. I just. I should really leave. This was inappropriate of me. Wait. I need you to tell me something. Do you think I still look attractive? Whoa. Wow. Okay. I'm not. Ex this is completely unexpected from Helen, guys. Uh. I don't know if I should. Just tell me. Yes? <sighs> Ever since I started attending those sessions with Sister Angelica, I've been having these desires and urges that I've never felt before. My body is constantly craving attention. But what if my husband won't take me back? From what I've seen, I think Harold likes you a lot, Helen. I'm just not sure he finds me attractive anymore. And I realize that I should have been more sexual towards my husband. Which is why I want to change a few things. Change things? I want to change my looks, Thomas. Oh. I want him to desire me again. I, I want to... I have to find something sexy. Okay. Um, do you think you could do me a favor? A favor? I need to find something sexy to wear for him. Uh... I'm not sure how I could help with that, Helen. I just... Just go and find me something to wear for him. And I'll give you some money. Why not go yourself? I'm sure you have a better idea of what to wear. There's no way I can be seen walking into a sex shop. You must help me. Please. Uh... What do you want me to buy? I always wanted to wear a corset. And Harold loves to see me in red. A corset, then? If you can find one, bring it back to me. I'll try to. Thank you, Thomas. Wow, this is interesting. I've got to find her a corset. There you are. How's your search going? I think I found something you'll like. Right. There you go. Let's see. Here it is. It's a, it's a sexy red corset, just like you asked. Wow. This is... Quite extravagant. You don't like it? No, it, it's just that I've never worn anything like that before. Well, I should get going then. <laughs> Wait. You won't stay and give me your thoughts? Huh? What? Let me put it on first, and you can tell me if I look good in it. Oh, wow, this is weird. This is really uh, awkward. Oh, my God. What the hell? Helen, this is not like you at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's a little tight, but it pushes my breast up a bit, which is good. And what's this crack at the bottom here? Oh, that I uh, didn't see that when I bought it. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. W what do you think? Oh, I, uh, I, I think it looks great. I was just really hoping it would fit you well, you know? <laughs> it's fine. I think Harold will definitely like this. Thank you, Thomas. You're welcome, Helen. Uh, but I should really go now. See you later. My God, I don't, I don't think she saw what was going on in my downstairs, so that's good. Uh, we should get out of here. <laughs> that was so awkward. So awkward. All right. 
Oh, shit. Debbie's here again in my room. Sweetie. Good morning, Debbie. Morning. And that nice lady from the other day is downstairs again. Oh, no. Who? Come on now, sleepyhead. The nun is here again. Oh, no. Hurry up so you can meet her downstairs. What is she going to want now? Oh, my God. Okay, what now? I brought you, Helen. Isn't that enough? Oh, no, my dear child. God has many things in store for you. Helen is far from being purified. Her stubbornness is most annoying. Tell me about it. The most penitent Christians require extra care. They need to be broken down from their pedestal so that we may build them back up. I believe it will take two more rituals for her. That is why I have come to see you. I am in need of an essential tool used throughout biblical times. What do you need? I intend to subvert Helen through the means of flagellation. What is flagellation? What? Oh, flogging! Oh, she's gonna be flogged! Get me a whip! A whip! I'd prefer a cat of nine tails of which our savior was subjected to. But I fear that might be more difficult to come by. A standard leather whip will do. Bring it to me in my chambers. This doesn't seem right at all. Do you forget your place? Don't make me remind you and everyone else of your depraved sins. Oh my god. Helen's here too and the nuns. Oh my god, what's going on? What is the matter, Thomas? You're not having any sinful thoughts, are you? Maybe you should take Helen's place. No, I'm just... I, I, you know, I'm just surprised to see that you aren't wearing your robe, you know? I was just illustrating to Helen how God blesses his chosen few who are truly holy and devout inwardly and outwardly. As you can see, he has showered me with a truly sacred body. Right, Helen? Yes, your body is a temple to our Lord. Now, let's just give her the whip and get out of here. Well, have you brought me what I need? Yes, I think I found something. Will this work? Hmm. I'm impressed. You seem to have a great eye for biblical accuracy. What are you going to do with that whip? Quiet. Well, I'd better get home. It's getting late. Hold. I want you to stay for this next step in Helen's purification. Helen told me you saw her defiling her body the other day. It appears she is pulling you into her wickedly sinful ways. I'm sorry, Thomas. I... Quiet. As you can see, Helen is still questioning my methods. I want you to witness her punishment and see how I prefer to expunge all her vile deeds from her body. Oh, Jesus Christ. Isn't that going to hurt? I think... Helen, rejoice. Today begins the second ritual of the purification sacrament. This will hurt, but pain is a product of sin. We're, uh, we're gonna just go through this. Helen doesn't like it. That's all you need to know, guys. Thomas. Yes? You did very well, too. Didn't he, Helen? Yes. Thank him for bringing me the whip, Helen. Thank you, Thomas. You may leave us now, Thomas. Helen will require further training, but first, I need to have her more subservient and more tolerant to the pains of this world. Perhaps when the time comes, I can use you for something a little more thorough, if you'd like. I don't leave us. I'll get you when I have need for you. Okay, guys. Um. Um. Uh, this is crazy. I should say something to someone, but Sister Angelica seems to have such control over Helen. Helen would probably say she is willingly participating. I should talk to her and see if she's alright. Okay. That was so freaking weird. So, so we're going to go a, a day forward and then we're going to talk to Helen. I just got to figure this out, okay? 
That's it's getting kind of weird, it's getting kind of fucked up, guys. All right, I need to ask her about the whipping here. Are you all right? I still can't believe I watched Sister Angelica whip you. I, I'm a little sore, but I'm a sinner, Thomas. I I need this. If it helps rid me of my sinfulness, I must do it. Thomas is just like, come on, this is this is fucking cuckoo. It's cuckoo. All right, I guess. If you need help or one out, let me know. I'll do everything I can to help you, okay? Thanks, Thomas. You are so helpful. Sister Angelica is helping me to see that it is my sinfulness that has led to all my problems in my life. I need to complete this training, and maybe I'll be as helpful and as nice as you. Helen, I don't think you're bad. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, okay, all right. She's she's completely delusional, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if there's anything I can do for her, but we're going to have to figure this out later, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.